Good day, everybody, and welcome to Inquirer Mobility. I'm your host, Artie Lopez, and this is your special feature. I hope everybody's having a good week so far. And well, today, most places will be shifting back to general community quarantine. So I hope everybody's going to still stay safe and uh, just go out when it's absolutely necessary. What we'll be talking about now is all about micro mobility and why it's right smack in the middle of it. And that would be the e-scooter, you know, the electric scooter, basically a plank with wheels, it's self-powered as a handle and basically, you know, sometimes uh, startles you in traffic. Now, will it be a viable means of transportation for you? Will it be empowering a lot of people who are having trouble commuting to and from work? Today, we're gonna dissect one and find out if that is true. Check this out. This is GM of Trip Exhaust. How are you doing, GM? Thank you for inviting me, QRD. Oh, my pleasure, man. Pleasure. Uh, this is kind of essential right now with the, situa with the current situation that we have in terms of getting from point A to point B um, since you have that power or that, that uh, capability uh, in transporting yourself um, without the hassle of traffic, without the hassle of uh, gassing up, without the hassle of even parkings uh, with the limited parkings that we have. Right. And I guess that's the advantage of having a uh, portable uh, vehicle uh, right on your pumps, so to speak. So yeah, the, so the fact that you can actually fold it uh, bring it to your place of work, or bring it up the stairs. And at the same time, if, if, if you're working in an office, you can absolutely just tuck this in uh, under your desk. This is not your entry-level scooter. Right. It has 1,000 watts, okay. which is capable of uh, bringing you to a 40-degree uh, incline and exactly. uh, speeds of up to 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, what really matters is like, you need to understand how long or how far is your house to your work or your daily commute yeah. um, because there are different specifications when it comes to batteries. Uh, like uh, this one runs on a 15 uh, AH battery. That's why it, it's able to you know, give you 70 kilometers in range. So if their work and house is not that far, uh, they can probably opt to a more, uh, I guess, lower batteries. Uh, 8, 8 AH or 10 AH. Uh, it only takes like two to eight hours in uh, charging these batteries. And th these electric scooters are capable of, uh, you know, uh, getting you to um, uh, 15 to 25 kilometers per hour, which is more than enough. There are a lot of, you know, electric scooters that are made in China. Yeah. And for the most part, uh, it does come with uh, Chinese batteries. Um, what the Wide Wheel Pro does come with is our Panasonic batteries. Oh. Um, and there are also um, mid to high quality electric scooters that offer LG batteries. Now these are the two uh, popular brands yeah. for, um, I guess, the, the mid to top end scooters. Right. Um, but even if you're using the Chinese batteries, um, it will give you more than enough lifetime, uh, lifetime uh, in terms of uh, uh, its usage. So I guess it's important to also take good care of it, right? You know, in terms of uh, the usage of the battery, you know, you don't really use it until it's uh, dry, right? It's like totally yes. empty of power. There's also a way of cycling the battery so it, it charges properly. This is a very viable form of transportation, especially these days when um, normal public utility transport uh, is really generally not safe. Correct. The, electric revolution is happening not only on cars but also on other modes like two wheels like you know electric motorcycles right. electric uh, bicycles and now electric scooters the wide wheel pro uh, with its version 3 which is the top end version of the wide wheel is capable of uh, reaching in terms of range from 40 kilometers to 70 kilometers so uh, it really depends on how hard you're driving it but if you put it in echo mode, it's gonna be able to bring you to up to 70 kilometers. Uh, riders have different physiologies, you know? So so like you and like me, I think we have, uh, I don't know, six, <laughs> 60 pounds difference, maybe more. So, so it doesn't matter because actually with, um, with, with uh, its capabilities, uh, it, it can handle up to 120 kilograms. Hey, okay, so, that makes me feel good. <laughs> so you're more than qualified <laughs> to, to ride right. this. And at the same time, for safety, uh, it has uh, disc brakes. Of course, everything has a certain risk, right? But um, of course, it pays to be smart about riding these vehicles. Uh, 
uh, safety is always paramount. So uh, invest in a good safety rated helmet, uh, preferably full face, and always wear uh, a thick jacket for protection, uh, thick pants like denim, of course, and close shoes, preferably something that covers your ankles. Then if uh, you're moving up this, uh, I guess, safer levels in terms of safety, of course, uh, paddings, like, you know, get a, get a motorcycle jacket. There's no shame in that. It's no embarrassment. Of course, it's, uh, it's all about, uh, well, of course, one thing looking good and really being safe. So uh, padded with armor, protecting your shoulders, your elbows, your chest, and even back protection. Your spine is very important. GM, thank you for your time and thank you for uh, showing us uh, one of the best scooters I've seen in the market so far, the White Moon Pro, and uh, for being on the show. So there you have it. While a lot of people have already been in the know with regard to e-scooters, the micro-mobility revolution is just about to happen. No, no, wait, let me correct myself. It already started. And regarding e-scooters being a boon or a blessing to a lot of people, that is true. But it needs to be regulated properly and regulated fast. Otherwise, it might blow up in our faces and just, uh, you know, set us back a few more paces. And if you ask me if it's a viable means of transportation, all I can say is, heck yeah. Once again, this has been Artie for Inquirer Mobility. I'll catch you on the next episode. Please stay safe. See ya.